it took me some time to to settle into knowing that I can just last as I am without doing anything and each talk from Candice was that kind of a step for me to take of instinctive recognition one moment at a time something just touched me you know I didn't know what it is it was confusing and then it was just so obvious and then again it was confusing the habit to change my data was so strong but also something was calling me in each talk from Candice like short moment of rest a complete perceptual openness of not trying to do anything with the data and it was so soothing it was just so soothing and it's still so soothing I must say <laughs> it's just that deepening and opening to what is already present what is already present awareness open intelligence what's looking through our eyes what's listening to this words it's always present it doesn't matter what appears within it even confusion can appear an open intelligence is present see so in that way every data every thought <coughs> every emotion is that opportunity to us naturally exactly as we are it's a short moment of reality as it is it's not a short moment of assumption a short moment of idea a short moment of philosophy it's a short moment of reality as it is inseparable from what appears within it in this way it keeps it simple like the color blue in the sky inseparable like the heat and the fire inseparable we cannot even think how we can take the heat from the fire right it's it's just impossible but we know there is something inseparable there so that's the instinctive recognition that comes about when we show up to the training when we listen to the talks from Ken this is that kind of conviction that's the name of the talk actually conviction dawns it just becomes obvious more and more and at the beginning it's like that <laughs> you know a short moment whenever we remember to do so and some of our data can be very strong you know things that we've been learning to do for all of our lives or for many years <laughs> and uh, we've been trying to really get rid of many thoughts and emotions by using antidotes for example like we had here so we can really understand why people are trying to use all antidotes alcohol or sex or relationship and we can even reflect ourselves what we've been using in order not to feel what we are feeling not to think what we are thinking trying to make our state feels better or being in the high you know um, connecting with people in more comfortable way so I drink something um, it can be just indulging in food indulging in sweets indulging in conversations about everything just to belong just to be able to belong and to be loved and to be understood and to speak about everything to try to find our satisfaction so in the 12 empowerment it was obvious to me that really everything I've been trying to do it wasn't necessary for me in order to be as I am in order to be stable in order to feel at ease in order to be clear and know what to do even in order to feel compassion for people I didn't need to cultivate any other thing other than being as I am so that was a great relief in the empowerment and then all the changes that came about in this process were amazing and since then it's just opening and deepening and what you described there about feeling how people are feeling and I love that in the empowerment that we know that if we had the same data as other people do we would act in the same way now that kind of compassion can never be contrived you know we can think about it we can kind of understand it but once we feel it it's completely different once we know the suffering that occurs when we emphasize our own data streams and the consequences are of that how it harms our relate how it harms our relationship with ourselves and other people what it caused for us for example isolation depression sadness 
uh, self-indulgence, self-criticism, self-hatred. When we really feel it <laughs> and understand the consequences of emphasizing data, then we come to know in the process of the empowerment that we can let that be as it is and then we come to know what true compassion really means. It's not that we see all these things and we feel bad about ourselves. Once we rely on open intelligence, we understand. We deeply understand and we feel sorry for that, for treating ourselves in such ways and for treating others in, in the same ways. So that kind of recognition in open intelligence that happens in the 12 empowerments, it's so opening and forever deepening, even after the 12 empowerments. Suddenly, data from the past are coming, or things that remind us something, and we feel, hmm, you know, we, we feel for the people, or we feel for ourselves. And to focus on our own experience, it's really powerful there. To let our own data streams, everything that comes up, even if it's, a, if it's about other people, to let these data streams be as they are and to rest exactly where we are at with whatever comes up, not to project to other people. We can definitely understand how it came about. We don't have to agree. If people are not relying on open intelligence, we don't have to put ourselves in situations that we don't want to be. But that comes about, that clarity comes about not by indulging in the data, by resting naturally, relying on the support. And one short moment at a time, we get to know that about ourselves, which completely clear and stable. And in our own example, we showed everyone that they're not flawed. You know, once we see it in ourselves that nothing about us needs to be fixed or changed in any way, it's very attractive for people. You know, that kind of complete stability and humility. Understanding but stable at the same time. Not seeing anyone as a victim of their thoughts and emotions. That was also one of the gifts of the, of the 12 empowerments, not giving up the right to be a victim of my thoughts and emotions, and then not seeing anyone else as victim to their own thoughts and emotions. Wow, it was such a relief. I remember like with my family, just having different conversations from seeing them as victims to their data stream, suddenly it's just seeing them as they are, listening to them, you know, responding to their questions <laughs> without being too complicated about what to say and that they can maybe change their behavior or say something different, just listening to them just as they are, allow them to be conversations with my partner again letting him be as he is not trying to change him so I would feel better and conversations with myself too wow just complete clear mind all this conversation just self elicits trying to change myself what do I didn't think now what I should think what I should do what I shouldn't do self-indulgence really just always constantly thinking about what I need to think and what I need to do so that's also one of the greatest gifts when we come to the teaching like that where we see we can completely relax as we are without doing anything. And the flow of data is as it is. Our flow of data and other people's flow of data as it is. But we have our own responsibility to rest, you see. It's okay that we prefer to be and it's also so natural to be in a place that is supportive for us. You know, coming here with the community, I know how it was for me. I never left since I met that training <laughs> 11 years ago. And it's not that I isolated myself from my own life and my family and friends. Everything is exactly as it is. Yes, I am very committed. <laughs> yes, I'm coming to all gatherings and being everywhere. But it's inseparable from my life you know, for my family, for my friends. Actually, I feel more available than ever to people, however they are. And 
in that there are also my own preferences of who I, who I want to spend time with, and what do I want to do with my time, how do I want to use my energy. And also this came about naturally in my own life, gaining confidence and seeing what is my own commitment, what is, will be of most benefit. But it doesn't have to look like me or like you or like... You know, each one is just so unique and special. <laughs> and we have people from all over the world, like you here, just doing all kinds of things in your life. And what we see is the results in everyday life with everyone. You know, like being a teacher or being a doctor or being a husband or being a mother or whatever you do in your life. There is a full relationship with everyone. Um, open intelligence is not going away when we go back to our everyday life. Actually, we want it to work in our everyday life when we face lots of challenges, when we experience disharmony and arguments and uh, there's some medical <laughs> appointment, appointment we need to do and take care of ourselves. Um, when we need to go shopping or when we need to cook food. So, I mean, there are so endless, endless examples of what you're sharing here of the results of the training. Short moments are not outside of it. Yes, and it becomes natural. And then in, with being as a teacher, just your example, you can be even a better teacher. It doesn't mean that you need to speak about open intelligence in short moments, but in your own way, you would just embody that, how you take short moments, you know, how you let them be as they are. And the softness of everything is just so, it's coming about with relying on open intelligence, the tense data, those that we try to hang on to for years, or trying to <laughs> really hope that they will stay forever, it's not needed. There is complete openness, love and kindness, and the compassion also is a natural thing. It's, 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 it's built into every situation because we truly understand the nature of all data, the source of everything, however it looks. And yeah, just to, I just wanted to address that question because it was a beautiful question and it's so obvious that you deepening you recognize something and it will just become more and more obvious, you know, like the sun outshines planet and stars. It just illuminates everything equally in the same way open intelligence outshines all data streams equally and evenly. And everything is just bright and shining without anything needing to be done in an effortless way. So we go with that. You know, with that instinctive recognition, if we have all kinds of voices coming up, that's natural, we let them be, we keep it completely open, and we trust that about us which is always present, which is a short moment of open intelligence. We can recognize it right here, and then we repeat it again, because short moments of open intelligence do become continuous. <laughs> they, 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 they become longer and longer just because it's so natural to be as we are, because open intelligence is present, you see? So the recognition becomes obvious. 